Trump's agricultural secretary just infuriated bankrupt farmers with condescending insult. Trump's Secretary of Agriculture just insulted every farmer in America by turning on them in a very public way, and they are rightfully furious. President Trump's reckless trade wars are driving American farmers into bankruptcy throughout Midwest states like Wisconsin, Iowa, and Michigan all of which happen to have helped vote him into office. But his Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue doesn't care about the plight of farmers now that China has cancelled literally every order for foodstuffs they'd make in America after Trump's latest trade war salvo. Perdue held a public hearing with hundreds of farmers in Minnesota, and made this joke, what do you call two farmers in a basement? A wine cellar. Huff Post reports. America's farmers have apparently been demoted by the Trump administration from great patriots to whiners, according to a tone-deaf joke by Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue. Perdue made the joke while getting heat last week from Minnesota farmers complaining about, among other things, the latest blow to their businesses from the trade war. China has cancelled all purchases of U.S. farm products in retaliation for Trump's decision to impose 10% tariffs on $300 billion in Chinese imports. It was definitely not an appropriate thing to say Minnesota Farmers Union President Gary Wordish, who slammed Purdue, live and in person, at that meeting told HuffPost. He continued, it was very insensitive. It took everyone by surprise. He doesn't understand what farmers are dealing with, and he's the head of the Department of Agriculture. He's supposed to be working for farmers. It's not just about words though. Farmers are sounding the alarm in increasing numbers that Trump's trade war which consists of major government intervention and billions of dollars in taxes on poor and middle class Americans is scaring away their buyers. It's really, really getting bad out here, says Bob Cullen who's farmed for 35 years in North Dakota in a CNBC interview. Trump is ruining our markets. No one is buying our product no more, and we have no markets no more. The American Farm Bureau president called China's exit as an agricultural trade partner is a body blow to thousands of farmers who were already struggling. Nationally, farm income is down a whopping 45% since 2013, mostly due to the trade war. The Federal Reserve Bank has made it clear as day that they're only cutting rates because the trade war with China that nobody wanted is tanking the rural economy. Trump risks losing the Fed as a recession scapegoat from, at business https slash slash t dot co slash fkka 115 z Mike Hernandez, at Hernandez MA5, August 13, 2019 If all of that wasn't bad enough. The $16 billion dollar welfare payment Trump promised to farmers is delivering most of its benefits to the top 1% of wealthy agribusinesses. A new study found that 80% of farmers are getting only paltry payments of $5,000 to, hardly, make up for the loss of their livelihoods. Donald Trump's trade war is doing single-handedly, what nobody else in the Republican Party could accomplish on their own dragging down the Obama economy and sending America hurtling towards a painful recession. Ironically, the only thing that the president has actually accomplished is convincing China to lower tariffs with everyone but the United States. An economic downturn would provide Democrats with the best chance to win back the White House in 2020, and it appears Donald Trump is working full-time to make sure an economic recession begins within the next year and a half which now has a 1 in 3 chance of happening.